it's time for some major changes, starting with this. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from davidthefranco.com, as well as my Apple Watch. That is actually my UPS notification confirming that this just arrived. This is a deluxe triple monitor stand desktop clamp from easymountlcd.com. Now, I bought mine from Amazon for about $90, and apparently that's a great deal because the user reviews on this thing on Amazon are just excellent overall. This clamp weighs about 20 pounds, which basically means, yes, it's quality. Okay, so you may be wondering why it's so reverby in here. Reverby, that's a good word, David. Well, that's because my new office, yes, that's where I'm sitting right now, my brand new office is still under construction. So that's why you see monitors just sitting on a table, cables sitting on the floor, lights sitting where they're not supposed to be. It's just pure chaos. But the good news is setting up this desktop clamp is the first major step in getting my Mac Pro setup back up and running. So guys, let's get started by unboxing the clamp. Okay, so I obviously have a lot of work ahead of me. I had to figure out where all these parts go. But thankfully, the um, included instructions are not that bad. They're not really that lengthy, and they seem pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna get started, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I am back, and as you can see, I've made quite some progress. But I gotta say, that middle piece is quite frustrating, especially if you're doing it yourself, like I am. But if you take your time, and you're patient, you will get it eventually. And with that middle piece done, let's move on to the left and right sides of this mount and see where the instructions take me. Okay, so moving on to the next step, I am now screwing in the monitor mounts themselves, of which will then be mounted onto the main desktop mount. Well, that was interesting. As you can see, the center monitor behind me is successfully mounted. Now, you may or may not notice this, but I actually lowered the entire mount by one notch because I sat down and I was thinking, this is a little too high. So lowering that by yourself is a little bit of a challenge, but you know what? I did it, it's looking great. So let's add the left and the right monitors right now. Okay, I just drove myself crazy for the past half hour or so because I could not locate the nut that is demonstrated in the included instructions, but they, are unclear in saying that you need to remove one of these black caps. So don't drive yourself crazy like I just did to myself because I could not find that freaking nut to save my life. And I was trying to pry this off and I was like, no, this is physically part of the product, but the entire black piece comes off. So just keep that in mind. If you buy the same exact clamp, the instructions may be a little confusing. Just try to keep in mind that you do need to physically remove this yourself, regardless of the instructions not telling you. Oh man, what a process. But check it out. Is that not hot? Seriously, this is one of the most frustrating things I have ever done in relation to technology setups. But I'm really hoping it's worth it. I gotta say, it looks incredible even though my Mac Pro is not fully set up right now. Okay, but I will say this just because I'm perfectly honest and I wanna give you guys some first impressions of what I think. The build quality is insanely impressive. They give you a ton of options 
in terms of angles, adjustments, all that good stuff, and even height. So if I want to, in theory, raise this entire setup a couple notches, I can, or even lower it to the level of my desk. I can do that as well. But there is one thing I have to be perfectly honest about. I'm not totally crazy about the shallow angle because I usually like to have my monitors pretty sharp at my face. For instance, single monitor right here, left monitor, right monitor. But right now it's kind of like this. Left and rights are kind of looking at me as such. Whereas I'm currently used to this. But perhaps it's one of those things I will get used to. So guys, there you have it. That is my setup process of these three monitors, which by the way, I'm using ASUS PB278Q displays. Beautiful displays. I believe you can get each one nowadays for about $450, maybe less. Because let's face it, 4K is on its way in and Quad HD monitors, they're not on their way out, but prices are quickly decreasing. And yes, this means I will not be showing you what these monitors look like with my Mac Pro connected. I apologize, I know this video is like a giant tease, but you guys gotta understand, I still have a very long way to go with my setup. There is technology crap all over my floor, so yeah, I'm not finished yet. But I do promise you, I will give you a full in-depth tour of my new office when it's complete. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys have any questions regarding this mount right behind me, let me know. Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. I'm going to Wawa, because I'm starving. Peace.